Did anyone else watch Brandon Washington's live stream today? I was like very surprised with some information that he shared. And if you were in that live stream, you were probably surprised as well. Brian here at Random Tech. In that live stream, he was talking about how the Sony fanboys and girls are getting a little, not stir crazy, but they're getting a little anxious about this upcoming A7 V release. And uh, his thinking was that it was going to be probably more of the same. So like the same sensor that's in the a7 IV, new body, which is the same body as the a7R5. But while he was on that live stream, I think a couple of friends that are probably part of that crew that gets the camera well in advance of the release were texting him, kind of giving him, sp him some specifics. And one of them had given him this real critical piece of information that don't think he was supposed to share. And that piece of information is that the sensor is not the same sensor from the A7 IV. It is in fact going to be a partially stacked 33 megapixel sensor. That is a big deal. For Sony, for those of you who just don't know about like what that means, forgive me, let's just geek out a little bit. The A7 IV has been plagued by a couple different things. One is the slow readout speed, which in essence means that any video that you record ends up getting this kind of like jello -y effect. Uh, now there's a lot of people out there that will tell you like it's overblown. I had an A7 IV and in fact, I still have an A7C II, which has that same sensor in it. And it is absolutely noticeable. Now, the other thing that comes with that slow sensor readout is unfortunately a crop in 4K 60p. So with now a partially stacked sensor, 33 megapixel sensor, Sony is going to have the ability to uh, not only shoot full frame 4K 60, but in the process, they're going to be able to uh, get rid of much of that jello effect so the readout speed i would imagine would probably be in the i'll say 10 to 15 milliseconds hopefully closer to 10 than 15 which should be more than enough right now it's like close to 30 it's like 26 milliseconds or something like that on the a7 IV. so that is a big deal now one thing i'm still convinced that is not coming with the a7 V is open gate so for me personally I don't care about that, but the 4K60 uncropped is a big deal for a lot of people, myself included, because I do like to shoot slow-mo B-roll. So not having to change the lens to accommodate a wider field of view to make sure that I am getting a similar field of view with the 1.5 times APS-C crop that you normally get in the 4K60 is a big deal. Was he just making stuff up on the spot or was he I think the way he responded to it after he said it in the second part of that text, it said like, do not share this on your live stream, essentially. By then it was too late and he was immediately trying to, you know, change the topic and move on to the next thing that they were planning on talking about. And you can see his his uh, partner there, Jarrell, was like, what have we just done? Like, it's a it could potentially be a problem for those two guys. But for the rest of us, I'm kind of glad that he shared that with us because there's a lot of speculation out there as to what sensor it has. And now that he's essentially confirmed that it does have that partially stacked sensor, that means that like Sony is like, they're at least in the game, right? And they're ready to play. The other piece of this, and this is the part that's frustrating, I think with Sony, is that they just released a couple months ago, the FX2, and that is a cinema camera that would benefit greatly from a partially stacked sensor. But for whatever reason, they decided to use the old one and hold off on that new sensor until the release of the A7 V. So if I was an FX2 owner, I would not be very happy with this news because the sensor was obviously available. They just made a decision. Sony made a decision not to use it. So let me know down in the comments. What do you think about this news? Do you think this is like more fake news? Do you think this was like something he's said just like kind of off the cuff and it's just trying to trick us. I don't know. I didn't get that sense. I think it was like legitimate and the change is my whole attitude. I've been sitting tight. I haven't bought anything. I was just kind of waiting to see what was going to happen with this Sony a7 V. If it does have that partially stacked sensor, I am almost certainly going to be buying it because I have all Sony glass. So I was contemplating buying into like some other system like the Lumix S12 or the S1 
uh, R2. And as much as like I'd love to take a look at those cameras, I just don't have the lenses and I don't feel like going out and spending a whole bunch of money on these new L mount lenses. I do have one L mount lens, but it is permanently attached to my Leica SL2S. So I really have any interest in investing in another system like that. Uh, instead, I'll just keep my Sony glass and uh, hopefully be able to use it with this new a7 V with a better processor, or excuse me, a better sensor and probably a better processor too, but definitely a better sensor. That's all I have for today. Leave me some comments down below. What do you think is going to happen with this a7 V is going to be a total bust is going to have a better sensor and they're going to sell like hotcakes. I'm kind of moving into that camp and I was pretty pessimistic on it previously, but I'm definitely feeling a lot better about it now, which is why I'm making this video. So. Anyways, that's all I have for today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you smash the like button, maybe subscribe to the channel, and we will catch you in the next one. Take care.